Hello. I, I have to come and visit you today. I'm very grateful. Thank you so much for welcoming me. And, uh, you know, my, my sister is actually, uh, she's not a seamstress. Okay. And um, she used to work for the mining sector. Oh, all right. And I told her to stop. Okay, why? Because I felt like being in the mining sector, she won't be able to make money. <laughs> <laughs> so I opened up a, a shop for my sister all right. as a fashion designer. designer. But she doesn't know anything about fashion. fashion. You serious? So what I did was uh, we employed people. And then mm -hmm. she's more like, oh, do this, do this. But okay. now I feel like it's very important. So mm. she's also learning. But I didn't know that something like this actually exists. Oh, okay. <laughs> you, you know, you know, you need to educate me and also educate um, a lot of uh, uh, people that watch my videos. Uh, my name is Watermaya, yeah, an annoying village boy from Ghana. And 2022, I'm actually on a journey to teach people how to start up a small business, teach people how to do stuff in their own way. You know, and what you're doing, it's something that I think it qualifies to be part of uh, what I want to do in 2022. Okay. So I'll be happy if you can introduce yourself and tell me what you do. All right. Thank you very much for visiting this. Uh, where you are is now, it's known as Garment Technology Center, okay. situated in Ho, Volta region. And we do fashion and designing. We sew for both men and women. We also train the youth to become their own fashion designers. Okay. After the court, they write examination, which is NVTI and court vet, after two years. They can continue their education with that certificate. Some will just open their own shops and start their own businesses. Oh. And some even want to take the certificate to go to do uh, other courses like police, soldier, any forces they can take them with that certificate. So that's what so we're doing. Which means you provide a certificate for them? They, they will write examination. Then right. they will give them the certificate. But I thought this is a skill that someone has to learn. So yes. You have to, I mean, it has to come with um, how good you are yes. to be able to sew stuff, but not, uh, is it a, the exam, is it a written form? No, we do oral and practicals. Okay, small oh. practical oriented. We do more practicals, uh, small theory in addition to the oral. Mommy, I, I really want to know, yeah. <laughs> now you, you are teaching a lot of people right yes. now. I guess, no, no, first of all, let me ask you, how many people have you trained in your entire life, how many? Hey, I trained about two hundred and fifty. In your entire career? Yes, I train more, even more than two hundred and fifty, and now I'm having twenty-four students who are currently with me. Listen, I I, I want to know your story first <laughs> because I don't know if you you just started doing this. Maybe you also started from somewhere. Yes. Uh, so let me know how it all started. Okay, when I completed school, which was a whole technical invest, whole, whole technical, it was whole. That time it was whole tech. Okay. It was technical institution. Okay. So I, I attended it and I did fashion. When I completed, I polished it with those who are at the roadside and learned more particles from them. Then I went back, when it, when it turned into university, I went back and upgraded my course over there. Would you say that the roadside was the best? Yes, yeah, they, knew, they knew the practicals more than the theory. When you, when, when you go to the school, you know more theory than the practicals. Do you think it's That's the, the right, difference. Do you think it's the right way? No, it's not the best, but that is how it is. So what are you doing to change that then? Okay. Because even, hope, no, listen, hopefully it's just right. I can even see it from here. Yes. I guess the student over there needs to be coming in here for more practicals. Yeah, they normally come for the attachment. In here? Yes. They come here to do attachment, and I teach them the practicals, spring and cutting. They do pattern drafting over there and everything pattern, pattern, pattern. But we, we do uh, freehand cutting. So they come to me for uh, attachment and I teach them the freehand cutting. So you learn the freehand cutting from the street? Yes. They don't, they, don't, they don't do the freehand cutting over there. They any, do pattern, any, pattern, pattern. Anything from the street is the best. <laughs> Watching on the street is the best. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay, but, um, let, let, let me understand, yeah, after school, mm. you, you set up your own shop or something? Yes, I set up my own shop. And when I was doing the work, I thought that I, have to, I have to upgrade at where I was. So I went to the school, it me to the university, and I went and did top up, and I continued from there. 
there are so many young girls watching us right now. Mm -hmm. uh, probably you had a machine that time. Did you did you have a machine that time? Or? Yes, I have a machine, but not the one that we are using now. You bought the machine with the old money? Yes, I mean, with the help of my family members. Uh, okay, right now you've built a successful business. We have so many young women watching this video who would love to be like you. Okay. But what is that advice that you want to give them? Okay, I would like to tell them that they should come to learn skill. Even if you want to go to tertiary, if you acquire the practical before you get there, it will be easy for you mm. to move fast or to understand the thing well. But if you don't know anything about the fashion and you go to university to do fashion, you have some challenges. Mm. So I would advise them to come to us, those of us who are in the system right now, doing, teaching the skill. They should acquire the skill before they get there. They will go and do a polishing. Then they can upgrade it to any level that they want to go, to mm. even the master's or doctorate degree. Mm. So they should first come to us to acquire the basic ones before they go. That the would be my advice for them. The youth of today loves money. Yes. Especially myself. I love okay. money more than anything. Yeah, but I want to know if I want to do this kind of business. Is it really lucrative? Very, very, very. Hey, very, 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 very. So how, uh, how lucrative money? Yeah, because fashion is something that even if a child is born, the first thing which will be done for the child is they will wear clothes for the person. The person will continue wearing clothes until the day the, the person dies, a new cloth will be sewn for the, for the person. So fashion is something that exists. It doesn't have an end, neither the beginning. It, it's, a, it's a continuous thing. So it's a very good business for everybody to do. Even if you are not a fashion designer, if you know how to sew, it will help you. Oh. Yes. Please, um, I, I think I need to start my training today. <laughs> what do I do? I want to be a fashion. <laughs> we will teach you how to, how to train the needle. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, um, I think, um, so the girls that have trained so far are more than 250. And they, are, they, are all, they, all start, they all put on their own fashion, hmm. uh, fashion place in there. Some went to uh, join the forces. And some are continuing their education, and some open their own shops and they are doing it. Yes. Who are you um, targeting right now? What's your target market? Who are the people that okay, are? Okay, I want to go into the international market. That's my target now. So I'm planning. I'm trying how to enter into that market. But who are the people that you sell your products to? Now I do so for schools, organizations, mm. hotels, hospitals, and individuals. I need so for traditional councils. Hmm. Yes. Do you do wedding? <laughs> yes. Or? Yes. I saw those ones to wedding gown, men's wear, ladies wear, skirt and top, cabine, slits, everything that human beings wear. Even a social for dead body. Yes, a social too. <laughs> <laughs> now, now, now I'm going to be scared. I saw for the living <laughs> and I saw for the dead <laughs> too. I saw uh, everybody, the children, I saw for children too, and the old people too, I saw, mm -hmm. yes. I would love to talk to some of your okay. workers and then I will get back to you. I will be grateful. Vero, how are you doing? How, how, how can I even know your name? Veronica, yeah? Yes, please. How are you doing? I'm fine. How long have you been here? Today is exactly one year that I've been wow. here. Oh. Happy one year anniversary, Vera. Thank you. And uh, what have you learned so far? I've really learned a lot here. I've learned how to sew slits and cover. I've learned how to sew men's shirts, a skirt and top, and anything that has to do with things that people wear. I'm able to sew, not perfectly all, but I'm able to sew some for now. For now? Yeah. I, I only wear shirt, so can I get a shirt from Vero after one year? No. Or I have to wait for two years? No. One, one year now, I can get a shirt from Vero? Yes, please. Vero, um, let me understand. You did formal education, right? Yes, please. From primary to? Secondary school. Secondary school. So I've, when you were in secondary school, you were not able to sew? No. Why? I didn't have it in mind to do it, but when I completed, I thought it's wise that it would have been perfect coming here than going to the tertiary school. A round of applause for Vero, yeah. I mean, this is one of the things that they don't teach us because we all go to 
secondary school, university, and we come out without knowing anything. I think there's something wrong with our education system. So, Vero, after completion, what do you intend to do? I intend to join the immigration force for now. Mm -hmm. That is my plan for now. Hey, immigration. You will not allow me to go to Togo, eh? <laughs> <laughs> All right, I want to thank you so much for taking thank me. Thank you, here. too. I appreciate it. <laughs> I've always stayed at the shop. We close from school, we come back to the shop, and then we always had baby dolls and we had pieces. So I take my doll and I decide to sew something for my baby doll to wear. Are you the only daughter at all? Yes, I'm the only daughter. Oh, okay. So I, have so I two guess big brothers. I guess you, you have how many brothers? Two big brothers. Hmm, you're the last born. Yes. Last one. <laughs> <laughs> Last ones are really stubborn. Yeah, yeah, stubborn. So are you going to take over the mantle from your mom? Yes, that's, that, that has always been my dream. Mm. I've, I've always dreamt of establishing a place for entrepreneurs, people who like working with their hand, hairdressing, because I've I realized that I can do hairdressing too. Mm -hmm. Makeup artistry, which I have learned after SHS, I went to do makeup artistry. And then probably add few things like barbering. Yes, anything that has to do with the Skill. hand. Yes, okay. skills work. I've always been someone who has been interested in them. Even decoration, I try to do something just at looking at people do it. So what are you doing now? Are you in school? Or? Yes, I'm in school. But unfortunately for me, I'm not doing anything related to what I want. Yes. So, so why are you doing what you're doing then? <laughs> I'm doing what I'm doing because of circumstances and then where the air blew me to. So I guess after, that's the university, right? Yes, so and they said I, the degree is important. So. No, it's just a paper, it's just a piece of paper. You know? <laughs> so I guess uh, um, after school, yes. we have to have another conversation. Yes, yeah, seeing definitely. Tifa having her own brand where, I mean, we'll see hairdressers, uh, <laughs> Yes. Since stress and all of that in one hub house. Yes. That would be amazing, yeah. We've already started. Are you, so are you selling anything at this moment? Yes, I do sell. What do you sell? I sew hair bonnets and shorts. I have about three or four nightwears. Mm. But I realized that people would find the nightwear expensive. So I just reduced it to the hair bonnets and the shorts. Okay. That's so I do it. I package it very neatly and then I sell to teenagers, especially those in the tertiary. So I have some in school right now and other university campuses too. If I have my friend there, I give some to them, they sell for me. Okay. Yeah, so that's but what uh, I you don't do. think Instagram is one of the best places? I have a page on Instagram. Oh, okay. Yes, Alrighty. I have a page on Instagram. All right. Just that it's not fast on Instagram. Okay. People see it. Don't, and, don't yes. worry. So I'm going to uh, share your Instagram handle. If you want to mm. buy a bonnet, if you want to buy a short from um, Jifa, check out her Instagram page and then go support her business. Thank you. I spoke to one of your workers okay and um, I just wanted to ask you this question do you think sewing or learning a school should be something that as um, the youth of Africa we need to start learning that from basic school or you think we have to come and learn this after school thank you very much I think skill training is good for almost every youth to learn how to learn a skill mm -hmm. even a room in which you are it's built by skilled, skilled people. This room, mm -hmm. the dress we are wearing is for skilled people. The seat on which you are sitting mm -hmm. is those who are quite the skill, they did all this. So the skilled people must, so until everybody must learn. At, at least from GHS, the person must try to learn a skill and upgrade it in SS, then continue at tertiary. So skill training is good for almost everybody to then, acquire. Do you think there's something wrong with our education system then? Serious. Serious, because normally they get to access before they choose a subject or a course. But that thing should start from early stage, as like as at least from JHS level. 
So there's a little problem with our education system. I, I want to know, um, I have a lot of audience, both Ghana and outside Ghana. If somebody wants to buy from you or wants to get a, a shirt being designed from the workers, or you, how do they reach out to you? My contact number? Yeah. Okay, I'm situated in Ghana, Volta mm -hmm. region. Oh, uh, behind whole Technical University. Mm. The name of the shop is called Garment Technology Center. That's the name. And we are very close to the roadside. We are not difficult to locate. Okay, and um, I will also uh, put the number in case you want to speak to her for advice or you okay. want consultancy. All Just right. call her, she's going to answer, yeah? Okay. Uh, are you sure you going to answer that? Why not? <laughs> why not? Yeah. Um, the contact number is 024. Mm -hmm. 321-7357. Mommy, um, I have so many Africans that watch my videos. Okay. If you have a message for Africans, what would that message yeah. be? Thank you very much. My message to Africans who normally watch your video is that they should wear uh, made in Ghana clothing. We Ghanaians, we can design fabrics very well, so they should buy our products and wear it to promote Ghanaians for us. That's my advice for them. If you had a chance to change one thing in Africa, mm -hmm. what would you change? I would, I would like them to, I would change the way we dress. They normally dress from those with imported garments which have been imported to the, the country. But our, our products are there, they, are, they don't buy them. So I would like, the, I would like to change the way, they, the way they have been wearing imported ones so that they can wear the ones that we produce in Ghana. Do you think uh, we are ready to embrace made in Ghana? We have to. We have to. Do we have cotton in Ghana? Yes, we have. But you are not producing it. We have, but we are. We, I don't know. We have cotton in Ghana. Yeah, but I, but I, I think it is the system that the government is not putting in place to support people like yourself, so that we be able to produce more for us to embrace it. Exactly. You don't think that is a problem? It's a problem. It's a problem. Final question before I go, what has been the major challenge setting up the school, major challenge that you face since you started this business? The major challenge is finance. For example, I intended expanding this place so that I can train more students. Mm. But finance is the problem. I need to buy more machines and I need a, big, a bigger place where other students can also stay there and other people will be teaching there. I'll also be taking others here so that I will train more people to become their own fashion designers. But the challenge is finance. How okay. much does it cost to set up one machine? One machine is almost 1,700 Ghana cities. Okay. So I'm setting up five machines for you. Which means you need to have five extra students. That that will be my student, yeah. Oh. <laughs> that will be very I'm, good. I'm gonna, I'm gonna set up five <laughs> machines for you. That will be very good. And uh, really you know really what? Grateful. This year is the year of charity on this YouTube channel. Okay. And I always want to set an example so that you all will follow. I'm getting five, yeah. Right. Let me know how much can you get. We want, I want the next time I come here, I want to see you training fifty students. No, no so we will be very good. Don't worry, the fifty students. We've been trained more than that. Okay, the fifty students. You know how we do it okay. by force. All right. Um, I'm gonna put a contract. It has nothing to do with me. Okay. I'm gonna put a contract. It costs thousand seven hundred. I'm gonna convert it into dollars. Okay. And then just send it the money directly. Mm. But next time I come, I wanna see fifty students. No problem. I'll visit you. Maybe I'm very busy, but I know in six months time. I'll come around. We'll be grateful so, to see um, you. I will send a, a check to Viglo and then he's gonna Thank give you it very to much. Give him, give him a clap. Ah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> we thank you very much for that wonderful support. Thank we you, are buddy. very good. We are not expecting it, but you have done it. That's thank what you. God can do. Amen. We want to say a very big thank you to you. Amen. And may God bless you, Amen. reward you. Thank you very much. Thank you so much for having me. On and behalf really of the student, we thank you very much for the visit. We appreciate your time. You know you are a very busy man, yeah. but you have your time to stay with everybody, communicate with her. May God bless you. Amen, mommy. Thank you so much for everything. I really thank appreciate you. your time. Thank you. Don't forget to like the video, share, subscribe, and be part of this YouTube channel. My name is still Mr. Ghana Baby, the one and only Annoying Village Boy from Ghana. Peace out. <laughs>